Why are my shoulders doing this? Why am I dancing like this? This Sunday okay, I saw Extreme G Racing set up shop at Orison's Kaplan Stadium for what would be their very first official race weekend. This race day hosted ground vehicle racing as well oh, as ship fun. racing through the dense atmosphere of Crusader. The typical XGR racing format was used, where there are three race heats that each see a winner, followed by a finals race where the heat winners go head to head, looking to come out as the final victor. With the media present in the form of our very own Zark Media, Zark! Go check out his awesome in lore YouTube coverage of Star. Dude, we've, we've, we've actually been plugging Zark as well, man. I love that Zark was there covering that shit. We gotta go back to Zark Media this week and check them out. Our citizen events and the sun shining saw racers working on logistics to get all their ground vehicles and racing ships set up on the platform in preparation for the races. We're all super excited to see racing become an immersive gameplay element in Star Citizen. We're already running into so many logistical challenges that will only expand in the future. Pilot and vehicle recovery, pilot injury, etc. We can't wait to see how racing integrates with these features in the future. First up for today's event were the ground vehicle races. The ground vehicle heats saw some spectacular action. Looks like it is Osash is coming out in the lead. Approach in the death corner for the first time. Let's see the speed with which he approached. He takes it gentle, but not too gentle. Heat 1 sees Osashes taking an early lead before clipping with Knife's Edge and falling down to the lower levels of the platform. <laughs> Dude, how are they even to know what the, the race track is? As he awaits recovery services. Oh no! We I clipped it. something and it launched me. Oh no, that's Osashes going down! Oh, he's still alive down there as well. Then there's Epic Failure, currently in possession of a top spot on the ground vehicle time trial leaderboards, taking the lead and causing all sorts of havoc. Dude. Before taking the win in the first heat. Epic Failure takes the first heat of the day. Congratulations. Nice job. As expected. Dude, how cool is it that they like literally landed on a section of Orison where like there's a road that they can use as a track. That's pretty fucking inventive, man. Racers have been falling down the platform, some to their deaths while others could be recovered. It's been incredible to see these recoveries, adding another layer of immersion to Star Citizen, even while racing. Race is on your mark. Get set. Go. All right, we see Anarchy and Osashes. First Was they in our corner, Trevor shit? close behind, Bear then, and then Prime. Let's see, it's Anarchy that reaches it first, followed by Osashes, and then Bear. Anarchy overshoots a little bit. Osashes that makes it through first, followed by Anarchy. Looks like Anarchy overtakes him now. Oh no, Anarchy. Let's see Osashes past the next corner, and oh! Anarchy falls off the edge! There he goes! Oh no! <laughs> Crusader claims another victim, or s yep, there's an explosion for Anarchy at the bottom of this. <laughs> that was awesome, and Viz is absolutely right. Viz is like, it's a good point about the support teams and professions that can and will support the racing events like this. Each racing team having their own refuel and repair Vulcan, for example. Absolutely, dude. This is this is ab absolutely why I love Star Citizen. Absolutely great comment, Viz. Station. Wow. We're all right. We're all right. <laughs> Heat number two again saw an incredible tight battle before Anarchy drifts wide around Death's Corner, plummeting to the lower platform where Osashes went during Heat 1. I said it before the races, I was convinced folk racing dragonflies would drift wide on some of these considering their lack of friction and traction on the track. Bear Commando fought hard to catch back up to Osashes, but it was Osashes that stole the win on Heat number two. And across the finish goes Osashes. Winning the second heat. Good wow. Bear with a very fast. Ooh, this shows how slow the rock actually is. Oh, Prime oh, hits oh, the oh, corner of the tunnel and explodes oh, on impact. Oh, Anarchy and Trevor are through. So is Bear. Heat number three saw an intense explosion even before the first turn. The remainder of the heat saw Bear going uncontested, securing a final spot for the Bear's final race. Bear's on point, dude. All right, get your seatbelt on. 
Here's the final race for the ground vehicles. Get set, go! All right, Fair Commando off very quick. Epic <laughs> oh! oh my god, there's an oh, explosion! Fair oh, Commando out. explodes on the first corner, then it's Epic through first, and the now first it's Sash. That's insane. Oh no! Let's see, we have Epic failure approaching first. Oh, Sash just gets spun around before he reaches. He is gonna be. Oh, he's doing a very slow turn around, getting back on track. It's Epic Failure coming out first. There's Osashes coming Epic out failure. second. Epic Failure taking it gentle around the death corner. There's Osashes going much faster, risking uh -oh. a lot. We have. Oh, Osashes boosting uh -oh. hard to catch back up to Epic Failure. They're going around the corner together real fast. There's almost no difference between them now. Now it's oh, up to who dares boost more around Knife's Edge. There's Epic with a bit of a twitch. I think Osashes also. There is almost no change between them. I'm gonna say there's about 40 meters between them. Oh now. wow! Oh wow! Oh, trying to oh, the straight oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, there's an explosion! It is Osashes that awesome. dies. It is Epic that oh, dies. My. There is no winner to this race. What happened? <laughs> I, oh, I tried to overtake you, and then we just touched, and then my my oh, crappy my. beat up <laughs> cycle oh, decided to explode. Have a good day, hun. Oh my god! <laughs> that was hilarious. Hey, I'm gonna. So I'm calling this. There is no winner to the finals race of the ground vehicle race in Orison. <laughs> wow, that was insane. All right, it's time for that thing we all came here for: ship racing. First oh, up wow. are the R class races. Oh, the R-Class on our performance index sees a bunch of ships permitted, ranging from the Mustang Gamma to the M50. But despite this, it is actually the Anvil Arrow that currently cuts through Atmo the best in its class, Surgical. and so everyone was flying that meta. For Heat 1, we saw Zark Media line up the racers and giving them the countdown. Let's check this out. Ready, get set. Go. All right, that is everybody off. Let's see who has the fastest start. It is actually very hard That's to see. That's badass. They're all seeming to be going neck and neck. They'll be making a right turn. Down I like the music that makes it. The arc and sand through first. I think oh, he's shit. the one with the most practice. There's the sashes. This is cool. Guys, Look at them flying in and out of the struts. That is badass. Above the okay, that's fine. badass. Alright, Arkansas aiming for the first shoot. It is a tight one to fit through, but he does just fine. There's Osashes doing the same. There it is, keeping it wow. tight. Wow. There's Osashes coming through second. We've got Arkansas pitching down now. Oh, that is so cool. Shoot. There's Arkansas. Oh, that is so cool, man. That is tight. Come on. It's Osashes not far behind, though. Great maneuvering. The Great maneuvering. The engine of the arrow looking as beautiful that as is, ever. That is that is clip worthy right there. That is tight. On his way to Cargo Valley. Arc exploded. I missed it. If so, I've got somebody going over the line here. Oh no, Arc! Arkansas takes an early lead with Osashes in close pursuit. The Kaplan Stadium ship course turned out to be an absolute beauty to fly through. The distance between the obstacles and the slalom, for example, were perfectly placed. Wow, I love this. I love this shit right here. That is so clip worthy right there. That is clip worthy. Wow. then Arkansan explodes, handing the lead to Osashes without anyone chasing him down, which meant an easy win for him. After some recovery services and respawning, everyone lined back up for the second heat in which I personally participated also. Alright racers on your marks, get set, go! First person view, nice. One streaking down to the start here. Looks like Prime actually with a little bit of lead. Maybe Arc on the inside. Oh man, I think. Nice maneuvering. Took damage. Got Black Maze. 
And Arkansan look like they're slugging it through. Arkansan and I came very close together through the slalom, after which I was able to open the gap through the later perks of the race before taking the win. Wow. Black Maze around Skid Row, around the corner. And across, finishing in first. Here's a look at the start of Heat 3. Right behind, then followed is Trevor and Prime. There they all are. We see, oh, an explosion midair between Bear and Prime. Can you believe it? Just as they were coming down. Uh, no, Man, I didn't even see that. I'm not sure if it is Prime. I still see Prime flying. I see Ark flying. I see Trevor flying. Somebody blew up against Bear there. No, he hit me. <laughs> Roger. I'm damaged, but I'm still going. With no finishers on the third heat, the finals race would see Osashes and I go head to head once more to determine the victor. A night. And with the sun setting, the darkness throughout the course oh, would add another factor of danger. <laughs> that is so tight. Isn't it, Jammer? I'm glad to see you're awake with me, Jama. <laughs> I find this fascinatingly cool. I'm like, I find myself like shifting in my chair, moving. We both fought hard throughout the first lap, but it was Osasha's with a collision on the exit of the chute that gave me the clear advantage. So, I won the finals race, and oh, then, yeah, with the traditional 30k, the S classes never saw proper racing for the event. In summary, this first official race day was a great success with lots of people showing up That's to participate, great. spectate, -driven and events. cover the race's media presence. Next up will be more beginner-friendly races and hopefully some instructor days. Oh, so yeah. come and join us over at XGR and don't be shy. Very cool. Very cool. Another organization, XGR, doing their thing just like Atmo Esports. Highly endorse these player-driven events, man. I can't say it enough, man. People doing this is just really good for the game and really just makes people feel like, hey, you know what? I'm having a lot of fun and uh, just good for them. Good for them. So... Uh, I highly recommend going checking them out. I'm going to throw a like to them, Black Maze and uh, XGR, uh, Extreme G Racing. Uh, you know, 100% approved. 100% approved.